Get the door, get the door, get the door. I don't think my boss knows that I know there's a camera in my office. And this one's from like a uh, true off my chest. So okay. let's see what's going on here. I don't know where to start because I'm not sure if this is weird or not. I started at this new job not long ago. And since the first day, I've known there was a camera in my office. I don't think it's necessarily weird to have cameras in an office setting. There's cameras in all sorts of places for all kinds of reasons. But the camera in my office isn't any sort of built-in fixture. And my individual office room is the only office with a camera in it. On my first day of the job, I realized my boss was too aware of my actions. He said something to me that threw me off, and I knew he wouldn't have brought it up to me unless he had been watching me do something. It was just too coincidental, but it was casual at the same time, so it wasn't a direct allusion to the camera he has. But immediately after that incident, I scanned around the room, and I found the camera nestled into a cubby with a small wire that leads into his adjacent office. My other boss has also indirectly responded to my actions in the group chat. The few times I have spent an excessive amount of time on my phone were times that they, hey guys, let me know if you guys need anything to work on. I know things are slow. Messages would trickle in. Anything that seemed to hint me being watched was also said or done ambiguously enough that they weren't revealing anything about being able to see me as if I'm not supposed to know I'm being watched. And that's what is unsettling to me. The camera is pointed directly at me. Not the door, not the front of my desk, not anywhere else that would make sense for security. I've looked at everyone else's office and didn't see a single camera. The camera is pointing specifically at me. And I don't even deal with money or anything that could be stolen. I don't know if I should bring this up. I'm not entirely mad and I guess I understand the reasoning, like making sure I'm on task or some shit. It just bothered me a little that I can be watched whenever, and they never even disclosed that. I feel like someone being constantly monitored has the right to know that they are, especially since I'm the only one being watched like this. I at least use it to my advantage because I at least know not to be on my phone. What are you thinking? I, I'm thinking that I would quit ASAP. Really? Yes. That is weird, huh? it's weird yeah it's, it means that you just have like uh overbearing bosses the, like right over your shoulder all the yeah. time like literally right over your shoulder the entire time yeah. and it's sketchy if if you're not open about it that means you're hiding something mm -hmm. and that's so sketchy to me that is super sketchy especially because they didn't disclose it that's weird yeah and is then okay? on the other hand, I don't really, really, I think legal things are such a headache. Yeah. But I would look into if there's any legal yeah. things that. I feel like it's not legal to record somebody without their consent, especially in a work setting. Mm. I feel like that's the kind of thing that you can fight for. Well, if you're in a public space, you can be recorded. And I don't know if that would count as. Interesting. Okay, to be recorded. I like, if you're walking down the street, anyone yeah. can record you. That's weird. I guess that kind of makes sense. I, I definitely agree with you, though. Like, I, I would do something about it ASAP because that's not something that you want to keep on you. Yeah. It also sucks when, like... I, that's, I the, that's not the type of work environment that makes me feel yeah. comfortable coming into work. Yeah. I, okay, let's say the reason for it is because they're, like, micromanaging you, right? Mm -hmm. That also sucks. That shouldn't even, like, oh my God, I hate being micromanaged at work. Because yeah. my, my one experience of being micromanaged, well, I guess not one, but, like, one of the worst ones that I had is, like, when I had that one job um, at an office where I would finish my, my work by, like, 11.30. And so I start my day, like, at 8. Yeah. I would finish, like, 11.30, 12, or whatever, and I'm done. Like, I, it, it's not my fault. I do my job, you know, good mm -hmm. and quick. It'd be done. And so then afterwards, um, I, I would just kind of sit there and just, you know, maybe not do much or be on my phone a little bit too long or whatever, right? And then my boss would come and then be like, hey, what are you doing? Like, what's, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, I finished my work. Here it is. And, then, and they didn't have anything else for me to do. Yeah. But they'd be like, okay, well, then just sit there. And I'm like, what? Yeah. You want me to just sit here and look at my computer screen? And like, well, you know, just look busy. Look busy. Yeah. Don't, don't don't be on your phone just look busy and like what yeah and, and what am i a robot and it's not that you even had that little work it was just that you're really efficient and created a yeah. lot of 
um, automations that yeah, exactly. would do things for you. Yeah. And it's yeah. just weird. Isn't that weird why people do that? Like, like ask that person, right? The boss? Yeah. Why do you feel the necessity to want to do that? Like, I think people like that, it's because they're worried about their boss and looking oh, at makes them. It, makes them look? Yeah. I guess so, but like... I don't know, man. I, if just, I was a company owner, yeah, and you cut work like that, like a whole day's work, you cut it in more than half, yeah. then I would find other things for you to do and give you a raise. Being like, oh, are you interested in <laughs> picking up other work? Dude, and that's the craziest thing, too, because like I was young. I mean, I'm still young. Yeah. <laughs> but at the time, I was younger, and I was like open, bro. I'd always be telling my boss, like, hey, like, I, I want to learn more things. Like, yeah. can you teach, can you tell someone in a different department, like a, a manager there to teach me how to do their work? Yeah. Blah, 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 right? And they would not do it. And to me, I'm like, why? Why, why, yeah. why not, like, hand me over to a different department after, like, 1 p.m. or whatever and let me take care of their work, you know? Yeah. And yeah. knowing you at that time, you probably weren't even looking for, like, a race to do f4 you were just i was just bored yeah <laughs> i was like let me do more things i want to learn mm -hmm. um, um there are a couple comments here that kind of i feel like they're gonna help us out a little bit but okay. there's also an update to the story Alrighty. so comments is this your office place a nice plant slash object in a way of the camera to decorate if the decoration is moved ask why that's actually kind of a good way to like kind of figure out the reason well, it could be a little bit awkward though if the camera is placed in such a way that it's just so directly at me i'm not gonna put like a plant in the front of my desk you know that that looks interesting yeah if it, and if it's in the corner like somewhere high up yeah i would just put a spider web actually no put a spider web anywhere can you buy, can you buy like a fake, fake okay spider i don't web? know if you like that's weird though they'd be like why are you putting fake no, no, like webs? they just one day i guess you come into work or they come into work and there's like a spider web there for some reason. Well, uh, we don't like, know if it's um constantly recording mm, or if they just watch it live. Um, that's true. Like, we saw you put the spider web, but then it just <laughs> appear there. One day, bring a spider with you from home and just, uh, what? <laughs> just accidentally the spider. Come home, have a little like spider web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I um, say something about yeah. the story? I'm I'm really glad that this is all that we know or i'm hoping that this is all that there is okay because you would be surprised how inappropriate people can be oh yeah people can be weirdos for sure i yeah. already have an issue using pop restrooms just because i think that they're dirty and i'd rather yeah. just go home but you add another layer of insecurity like like there's no security within the restroom that's yes, public because anybody can do anything they want as in like yeah. people put cameras in there yeah You'd be surprised how many cameras have been found in public restrooms. And, and hotels and stuff like that, too. Mm -hmm. Crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. People are weirdos. Mm -hmm. We're messed up, man. Um, another comment here is, take a picture of you working from beside the camera, print it out, and put it in front of the camera. <laughs> just wherever, just like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just, you know. Yeah. Um, someone says, a young female with a camera in her office only. Mm -hmm. I'd take that as a red flag from the boss. I would speak to a union slash lawyer. lawyer or simply move to another job. If cameras had been everywhere for security, it would have been a different thing. Yeah. And, and they're weird, they're official. They're, like, in the corner. And sometimes yeah. a lot of establishments say, like, smile, you're in camera, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's the normal thing to do. This is just sounding creepy. Are mm -hmm. you ready for the update? Yeah. All right. Update. Nothing has changed yet. I haven't brought it up to them because part of me is wondering if they'll eventually remove it. I was curious to see if they would ever bring it up themselves. Or if I could find a way to hint at the fact that I know. I sort of want them to stay unaware that I know. So I can see how they act in response to my actions to potentially call it out in the future. The top comment is pretty funny about staring into the camera. There were a few times where there was something ridiculous would happen with something. And I stare into the camera for a moment as if I was breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> it's kind of like the office. Yeah, you know, when they'd be I like, just picture Jim right away. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bring it up just yet. I actually really like working here. I get along with my coworkers and they pay me decently for what I do. For everyone asking, yes, I am a woman. I don't think this is as much of a sexual harassment case as it is just a micromanaging thing. They haven't done or said anything to me to make me feel like they were hitting on me. Just genuine politeness. My guess for the camera is that they're maybe testing my integrity and seeing how much time I spend on my phone, even out of the view of other people. Which I could understand, but wow, I wish there was another way besides a camera on me. 
there's been a few other micromanaging things to happen that have irked me a little, but I still like my bosses in spite of that. If something changes, like if I start getting the vibe that this is becoming creepy, I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, and also a few things I wanted to mention that a lot of people had ideas about. You guys have good ideas, by the way. Due to where it's at, it would be really hard to cover the camera with anything. I can't exactly reach it. So I'd have to find something like maybe a wide shelf that would block the view from underneath it. The wire runs into my boss's office. You can't see the wire from mine, so I'd have to take a pic of it from the inside his office. So I don't know if I'm able to evidence collect too easily. I'm also trying to be a bit vague with details because I got a little paranoid about the idea of my boss somehow coming across this thread. Anyways, I appreciate you guys and I'm sorry I don't have more thrilling update. I'll let you know if any changes. I still would not stay i'd be yeah. out of there yeah i, I don't no. i don't i don't like it uh like to try to trick him into into them knowing that you have a camera they whatever you know you know what i'm trying to say yeah, yeah, yeah. um gotcha. what if it's like a, a instinct like something that you usually say like maybe message him do you have time for a call and then he calls you let's say that that's a normal habit you team swim can you call me calls you then what if one time you're like hey bob do you have time for a call like just out loud Oh, and, and then he, he calls, calls you? you? Dude, <laughs> that would be crazy, yo. That's a good idea. That is a really good idea. Oh, and you you know what else? You should, like, do a, like, one of those things where, where you just repeatedly do it every week. Like, every week? Yeah. At some point during the week? Hey, Bob, do you have time for a call? Next week. Hey, Bob, do you have time for a call? Next week. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually, after, like, a couple of times, it comes, like, be a habit to expect yeah. it. Oh man, that's wild! Yeah, and you like you, you, you when you were saying that, I guess like yeah. say it out loud every time you're typing it. Yeah. So that yeah. he associates you hearing hearing it with Dude, reading it. Dude, you're smart it. as hell, man. You that's know what I'm good. saying? Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good like way to maneuver it. Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know just have some fun, silly times with us, man. Hear some Reddit stories. And let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.